Hey, now I'm going to give a quick demonstration of ExamView Pro. This is a program that we use to create the tests that will later be imported into Canvas. We don't need to use the test manager, the test player. Those are some standalone programs that let you actually use this as a test platform. We are going to use just a test generator and use Canvas as our platform. Starting this, the first time you run this, you will have to enter some small information about registering. Uh, you don't have to actually have to register, but you will enter your name and your school and some basic information. You can create a wizard, a test using a, the wizard. It will just randomly choose a bunch of questions. But I like to create my own, um, my tests from scratch, as they call it. Uh, it's good to give a consistent naming system when you're making your test. Uh, whatever works for whatever you're doing, but if you'll have some kind of consistency, it will really help, especially as you start importing in the c into Canvas. Now, there are many ways to add the questions. There's add randomly from a list while viewing by standard, by criteria, in all questions. So we're going to go through each of these quickly, randomly. When you start up, depending on what sections you have installed, you will see a folder for your banks that you've installed. And you choose your module, and then you click the next button, and then you get a choice of the type of question, and you can choose any number. I'm going to choose one of each one so that we can uh, see each type of question. Here's a multiple choice, multiple response, which is very useful in our Common Core. Bimodal can switch between a short answer or multiple choice. Numeric response requires the student to enter a number answer. Short answer is a quick few words to answer a question. There's a problem type and then their essay, which is a longer answer. So when I click finish, it will randomly pick a question from each of these types. And so you can see the different, quite, uh, different questions that are chosen. So like this one is a problem. Uh, the bimodal is this the choice here. It's the little red button, when you select these, it, it's a bimodal. And this little toggle here will switch between multiple choice and short answer. You see it jumps down here to short answer. Clicking the toggle switches it back up to multiple choice. So you have options on how you want to create your quiz. So that's one way to add questions. Another is to choose it from a list. And I'm going to use the exact same module. And then this creates a list and you can see the questions by the question number, the type of study. I personally don't like this one. I don't use it, but I just want to show it to you. Next, while viewing, this one is very good because you can actually see the questions. It can be time consuming. It, if you look, for example, this has 173 questions. But you can go through and see each question added in. You can even choose all of the multiple choice if you'd like to in each section. Clicking your arrow keys in your computer um, keyboard will let you move between questions so you can select any number of questions that you wish as you move through. Starts as a multiple choice, then the bimodal, which you can then switch to short answer if you like. Eventually you'll get down, and I'm going to go quickly, <coughs> to different types like multiple response, and these have multiple answers that can be correct. And so you just move through the list, find questions that you think match what you're studying, and then as you choose the ones you're looking for, when you click finish, it will add those questions to your test. The other choices are by standard. I'm going to use the exact same section. And you can choose the learning objective, and you'll see the learning objective listed. Some cases, in you won't have many of these questions. It determines, it's determined by how they're actually entered into the system. And so if you don't see many choices, that means they haven't been entered with correct information. Uh, you also have national standards that you can follow, the Common Course 
you have the state standard if it's Florida and you can see these standards so this again does a random pull so you'll it doesn't let you choose you just pick what topic you want to cover or what standard you want to cover and it will then add so you can say I just want some multiple choice or I want some short answer and that limits what it will pull from so I'm going to add just one of these and just so I can keep adding in so as you keep adding in and you close the question so you keep adding more and more questions the last is by criteria and I'm going to use the exact same module again and this lets you actually search for different things like question types choose a difficulty uh, and some of these in these cases you don't have options it depends on how well the bank has been created so these will not always work and so once you go through this you've created a test and you finished and the next step will be covered in a, in a future video